What's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by and hope everyone's having a great day. This is Josh from VHU bringing you a video I don't normally do. This is my 2014 Dodge Ram 1500. I'm just really excited and want to show it to you guys because a lot of people do ask what I drive. I've actually been asked quite a few times for some reason. But I just got this truck and I'm really excited and want to show it to you guys. This is a Dodge Ram 1500 SXT. So I got a regular cab that seats two and it, you can see the third person by folding up the center console, which just won't happen. It's also got the shortest box. So all in all, I got the smallest truck from Dodge that they offer right now because they don't sell the Dakota anymore. So with the regular cab and the short box, you're getting a lighter truck, which means it's going to be faster and also better on gas, which is good because I got a Hemi 5.7 liter. Um, 395 horsepower, 410 pound-feet of torque. So with this little truck, it's actually very easy to accidentally spin the tires going around corners accidentally. Um, so going around the front, this is the SXT model. So it comes standard with chrome bumper and chrome grille. Um, on the SLT, which is a model up, those are actually replaced by bumper and grille of the same color of the truck. Um, speaking of the body of the truck, it is a granite color which is kind of in between black and gray. Um, very nice, sexy color. The truck, because of the color and the overall contours of it, dimensions, it actually looks very sporty and aggressive. And it is, it is very aggressive. So going around the back, you'll notice the 17 inch rim standard on the SXT. Um, I, do get, I did get the towing package that had to get added afterwards. It's kind of hard to see there, but there it is. The SLT has standard exhaust, double exhaust here and here at the back bumper. You may have seen it. The SLT does not. So there's my exhaust pipe, single exhaust. Other than that, that's pretty much it. The liner is spray in. So we're gonna go ahead and go take a quick peek inside the truck. So you can see I still haven't gotten rid of the floor mat, the little white floor mat they um, give you with the new vehicle. So coming inside the truck, you'll see there is this a very basic radio here. Um, it's actually a lot better than it looks. I got this just because it was the cheapest one. And, um, you know, I plan to replace it at some point anyway. Jesus, shut up. But, you know, um, there we go. So it, it plays the iPod through the center console here. So it's got an iPod and auxiliary. USB, it does not play Android, just so you guys know, which sucks because I bought a Nexus 5. So, coming to the center here where you have the stereo, so it actually plays, like I said, it plays the iPod. It's very basic. I actually end up liking it. It's a small screen, but it doesn't matter. But it has full iPod controls and everything, so it has everything I need. I don't crank the music, so, you know, it doesn't really matter. So, I'm actually probably going to keep that for a little while. Um, pretty simple in here. Standard with Dodge is their um, information center, and I'll see if I can get, there we go. So you'll see here, sorry for the beeps, Dodge's standard information center, you got your speedometer, vehicle info, fuel economy, trips, and stuff like that. It's all digital. Just your tachometer and your speedometer and fuel and, and oil and stuff like that. Coming around here, like this does have the power group, which is about a $1,200 option for power, um, keyless entry, power windows, power mirrors, um, stuff like that. I didn't actually ask for it, but because it was the only one they could find in granite, they had to give it to me. They could have asked me to come back and re-sign the paperwork and, and whatever to pay for it, but I could have then backed out and I put a deposit down so they'd have to give that back. So they included that in. Um, does have cruise control. Other than that, I mean, it is very simple, but I really, I really love it. Um, this, I love the simplicity of this whole thing. Um, I drove with F-150 I was looking at, but it was so complicated. There's like 50 million buttons. Um, for those of you that are wondering, the MSRP on this truck was about 30 to one, and then they had to throw on the hitch, which is about another $400. Um, so about 32 five plus tax my total price was about 21 plus tax and the reason is they had an instant rebate because it's end of month end of end of year they're trying to get rid of them so i lucked out there also because they kind of mucked up the paperwork so i saved a ton of money uh 30 percent to save on a new vehicle is insane i i've heard and um to save 10 grand on a car that's like thirty thousand to begin with is huge because you know, normally like people I know bought like a $50,000 car and save 10,000, right? So, I mean, I'm buying a lower end vehicle and saving 30%, which is insane. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to let me know. Let me know what you guys think of the truck, any suggestions, any tips or anything that you guys might know. But other than that, I don't have a whole lot more to say. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.